Hi, I'm Dominic Singh at the Whirly Bugger Fly Company. Uh, today I'll be tying a foam stonefly pattern that I've been working on for the squala hatch here on the Yakima River. So let's get started. Uh, in the vise I have an extended uh, detached body pin and I'll start with some 10 aught vivas thread. Just get a couple wraps on there so it won't slip on you. And I'll take a nice, nice strip of black foam, puncture it at the halfway point, fold it over, start the first segment. It's a nice loose wrap and tighten it up a bit. And I'll pull the top flap up, put the thread in between, start on the second segment. And now I'll tie in a uh, Little we'll spandex leg. Off one side. That's splayed out. Put it in between. Flaps of foam. Tie it down loosely on the other side. Get that that nice stonefly tail. So now I'll just continue with segments all the way up the body. Just a few wraps on each. And that'll probably do it. So now I'll take one half hitch Put over the last segment, pull the body off the pin. I'll take a size 8 lightning strike scud emerger hook. You don't really need to, uh, to even cut your thread off the body for this. You can just start tying with the thread and uh, wrap it back and forth a bit, get it situated right. Okay. So I'll make one last segment on the hook. Make sure that lays back right. And front. I'll lay down a bit of the thread base as well to prevent it from slipping. And trim the foam off at the front, tie it down nice and tight. This point I'll trim the tails even. Okay. So now I've got a uh, Hemingway uh, realistic wing. It'll tie in over the over the body. Gives a really nice profile. Super realistic. Lays back flat. And for a wing, we'll use a little, uh, is this elk rump? Or in a nice gray color. Just cut a nice chunk off, comb through it a bit. Stack the tips. Try to get the, the longest hairs. Lay that on top. Start with a nice loose wrap. 
and tighten it as you move up the hook. Clip the butts. So now I'll add a little piece of foam at the front for a head. Also adds a little, little more flotation. Trim that off. And also an optional indicator post. Kind of helps the, the wing lay back. Also gives a nice hot spot if you're having trouble seeing the fly. Okay, now I'll take a pair of Hemingway realistic legs, just lay that on the bottom of the fly, a nice loose wrap and position them where you want them, and tie down at the front of the stalk in between the legs. And if you can, try to catch the back of the stalk there as well. Gently tie them down. Make sure they're sitting straight out. Okay, and now to finish the fly, I'll take a little blend of UV frog's hair and nature spirit, fine uh, dry fly dub in yellow. stubbing rope and now weave in between the legs create a nice yellow olive thorax that those squallows have I just fold the head back a bit and half hitch or whip finish or both. There you go. That's the completed foam stone fly. I'll trim that indicator post just a bit. This fly gives a really excellent profile, lots of foam to keep keep it afloat and it's a pretty good representation of the squalas in the Yakima River here this time of year. Of course it could be tied bigger sizes, different colors for different hatches but uh, give it a try.